Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here in today's video we'll be taking a look at the brand new version 0.4.0 of the MySpine Windows emulator for Android devices which is a completely open source project that aims to run Windows application and games on our Android device. Now before getting started let's talk about the minimum requirements to run the MySpine Windows emulator. We need to have at least 4 GB of RAM, Vulkan 1.1 which means Android version 10 or above and a 64 bit CPU is minimum. Whereas recommended requirements you need at least Android version 12 or above and and turnip compatible GPU. This Windows emulator comes with a wrapper graphics driver so it is compatible with even unsupported MediaTek or Exynos processor Android devices as well as Snapdragon processors. With that being said the MySwine application version 0.4.0 was released 2 days ago after a long time and this is an independent project this is not a clone or a fork version of WinLater Android. You guys can see finally controller support on screen touch control inbuilt on screen touch controls have been added in the MySwine emulator which makes it one of the the best updates ever it used to take so much time to configure the on-screen touch controls and brand new features such as 8k resolution controller test screen improve x input controllers added d input controllers so mouse and keyboard support is present now added support to pause emulation added task manager updated box 64 on root fs and so on now basically my swine windows emulator has two sections the first one is the application itself and the second one is root fs generator now i have added the my swine windows emulator on my android device we'll start setting it up but do note that you will need the arc 64 root fs of my swine emulator which is on its official github so that we can start using this emulator so let's just go ahead and enable this option afterwards go back tap on the next button and now we'll need to select the root fs it will start a process which may take around two to five minutes depending on your device specifications so just be patient once the process has been completed you will see the wine prefix right here but before starting to use this emulator we'll need to apply the best settings that i am about to show you guys so let's go to general settings settings where we have driver settings, environment settings as well as wine settings. In debug settings, let's see, we don't really need to change anything, let's skip this part because it is important stuff. We'll go to drivers where here you guys can see OpenGL profile has been selected as 3.2, you can even set it as 4.0 depending on the game that you are trying to play. In terms of driver info, you guys will be able to see by default Mesa Turnip Adreno driver 25.1.4 will be selected. This is best suited for all the Snapdragon processor Android devices except for the newest ones for example the snapdragon 8 elite for snapdragon 8 elite and mali gpu android devices so mediatek and exynos processor make sure to use the mesa android wrapper anyways let's just go ahead and go back we'll go to controller mapper where you can connect any of your external game pads and map the controls layout but for today's video what i am most excited about is the virtual controller mapper so basically now we have on screen touch control support inside the my swine windows emulator we'll go to settings once again and here we have the box 64 preset manager which you can edit by changing the big block level strong mem and so on i'll set the big block to 3 make sure to set the safe flags level to 0 and that's about it for the best performance now here comes the most important settings that will apply for the my swine emulator in terms of driver make sure to select the mesa android wrapper i have already explained why before in terms of box 64 we'll be using 0.3.6 wine version that is going to be used is the 10.1 e-sync x input and d input in terms of dxvk we get four options I would go with DXVK 1.10.3 asynchronous. Everything else you guys can keep it as default. We'll simply go back and that's about it. We have completed the setup for the MySwine Windows emulator. Now let's just go ahead and launch this emulator to see how well does it work. And at the top right corner you guys will be able to see my graphics driver, the DXVK wrapper as well as MySwine version. The first feature that I actually want to show you guys is when you swipe back, we have the open slash close virtual controller option where you guys can see MySwine developer has finally listen to all of our requests and now we finally have on-screen touch controls this is such an amazing and most useful feature to enjoy our games with best gameplay experience we can also enable stretch to display area for full screen resolution and in terms of task manager this is a brand new feature that has been added in the newest version of my swine regardless let's just go ahead and tap on the start button and try out some dxvk test to see if our graphical output is working so here i have launched cube map and you guys will be able to see we are getting 60 fps and that's because the emulator is limited to 60 fps you guys can change that by simply going to this unlimited option by scrolling to the left afterwards simply restart your emulator and now you don't have any fps cap so you can get more than 60 fps while emulating any of your pc game so i'll run the same once again and now let's see the fps that we'll get 
At the top left corner, just take a look at this. We are getting 2000 FPS, which is really admirable. With that out of the way, what are we waiting for? Let's jump right into our today's gameplay test. We'll be trying out Grand Theft Auto 4 in today's video, so I'll just go and double tap on the game. Let's see how well does it work and how well are these on-screen touch controls performing. We can also check out if our game is launching by going to Task Manager and as you guys can see GTA 4. Unfortunately, it appears to have stuck at 87 MB. So I don't know why our game is just not launching for some reason. Let's go back to Task Manager and check it out once again. As you guys can see, all the three instances of GTA 4 are not booting for some reason. We'll just go and tap on kill process for two of them. They are obviously running but even the kill process option is not working for some reason. So that is a bit disappointing. We'll just go and exit Task Manager and try out our next game which is going to be Grand Theft Auto 5. Let's see if this game finally launches or not because since the past uh, My Swine Emulator videos which we have been seeing, GTA 5 does not boot unfortunately. So I'll open the on-screen touch controls and as you guys can see, our game is about to start. Let's find out if our game launches this time or if it will just crash after the loading. Because as far as I remember, none of the versions of My Swine Emulator were able to run GTA 5 previously and it seems the entire emulator has frozen. So I'll restart my emulator and we'll try out this game once again and I'll be back. And unfortunately no guys, the game is just getting stuck. So I guess the only game that we can play in this emulator which I have available right now is the Assassin's Creed Rogue. So we'll try it out regardless to see how well does the on-screen touch control work. Now this game booted immediately as you guys can see Assassin's Creed Rogue has successfully started. So let's start a brand new game we'll just go and press the A button and this will be uncapped FPS which I am very interested to see how much of it can we get. So here our game begins and at the top left corner the FPS bar is based on delay so I am unable to read the delay. We'll just go and enable Mango Heart. Unfortunately the game has frozen guys I'll need to restart this emulator and I'll be back. Unfortunately guys the emulator is freezing a lot so I I guess that's it for today's video. My Swine version 0.4.0 really amazing update but has tons of freezing issues and generally I would like to say that I would go with Winlater Bionic Ludashi instead. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.